Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. All right, we're going to take a look at the week ahead for the Libra Collective. Take from this reading what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I am picking up on. We are going to start with the um, career and finance messages. What's going on with your money this week or your job or your business, okay? We have Hermit. Wow, Virgo energy. Some of you could be um, on the Virgo Libra cusp. This is you considering a career change or maybe needing a mentor. Some of you may be too focused on work or money or materialism instead of your happiness at this time. So there could be a need for more balance in your life. Um, this talks about being a writer, a proofreader, an editor, um, somebody who assesses data, Computing, software, postal service, workers, shipping, electronics, transportation, teachers, healers, um, being self-employed, counselors, coaches, living a minimalist lifestyle, decluttering, scaling back, making wise investments and no excessive spending. Also staying to yourself. Some of you work alone or maybe this week you may find yourself wanting space. We have start over as many times as you need to until you get it right. Failure or quitting is not an option. This feels like a bit distant to me. I don't know. Um, I'm getting a feeling of like being overwhelmed, like my shoulders feel heavy. Some of you could feel tense at work. Maybe you have a heavy workload on you. Maybe a lot is falling on you this week and you may feel like you want to quit. Um, there could be a lot of setbacks or delays and frustration in work this week. Feeling like things, maybe not meeting deadlines. Let's see. We have unclaimed money. There could be some unexpected income or unexpected money that could be waiting for you that you need to look into. Find a way to earn in your sleep. Passive, passive or residual income. Okay. Yeah, that's that's um Virgo energy. That's not a Pentacles energy. So some of you might be thinking about starting a career in blogging or being a content creator or something like that where you make money in your sleep, starting a YouTube channel or using social media, like monetizing social media. Because some of you are tired of something. I really do feel that my shoulders feel very heavy and they were not feeling that way before. So let's see what's going on with this Hermit energy. I just feel kind of like you're going to be left alone this week. Some of you people at work could be getting on your damn nerves. Oh, something flew in the floor. Okay. We have philanthropy. Okay. This is uh, Capricorn and Taurus energy. Charity and support. I feel like some of y'all need some support this week. I actually feel like this could be somebody, a mentor, or someone in a position of power that could be coming in to help you or even just advise you this week. Also, some of you could be feeling charitable, obviously. Hmm. So you can have Capricorn or Taurus placements in your chart. Something about four or six years could be significant when it comes to your career or your business or something here. We have Manifesting Abundance, the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. So yeah, I do feel like some of you are really focused on financial stability. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a financial blessing. New job, new car, new home. Some of you are thinking about moving in a totally new direction, okay? Something tangible, a tangible gift from the universe is coming in this week. And it's something stable. The Ace of Pentacles represents one year. So one year, four years, or six years could be significant here. Unclaimed money is my cup is overflowing. Your blessings are too plentiful to count. Count them anyway. The moment you find yourself focusing on what you don't have, turn your attention back to your gratitude list. Excuse me, now may be a great time to start a gratitude journal. So some of y'all, this unclaimed money is money that is available to you, either through a gift or some philanthropy or some charitable action, or this is just the universe blessing you with this abundance once you start to change the way you view things. Practice more gratitude and more blessings flow in this week. So we have unexpected promotions. See, there's something here. This can definitely talk about, about a promotion or a raise, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so that's it for your money. Your cup is overflowing. I feel like this is really kind of like a testament to your mindset this week, determining how your money and your career and things go in your business and such. So forth. I can't talk. So forth. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some general messages for my Libra game. What do we have here in real time so something is happening right now in the moment interesting i have a um 
a deck of cards where in real time is the hermit card. And that's what we just started out with. Some of y'all feel like a loner this week. We have deceptive. Oh, you could be finding out about some lies this week. And then we have emotional eating. Some of you may find yourself overeating to cope with some kind of news that you're about to get here. And this has something to do with other people. You could be finding out in a love situation about other people. Or some of you, you're dealing with stuff at work. I don't know. Let's take a look. What's in real time, spirit? Oh, trust is in reverse. Yeah. I feel like um, something is being illuminated here. Some kind of lie is being illuminated here in real time. What's this deceptive energy? We have music. I'm hearing sweet nothing. Somebody's words and actions not matching here with deceptive music. You know, when something is music to your ears, it's pleasing, it satiates your ego. There's something here that I feel like, I mean, somebody could be in the music industry that music could be relevant. But I feel like also um, pay attention to the messages you get in music. But I will say here, I feel like somebody's been saying a lot of sweet nothings to you. All talk, no action. Show me emotional eating. New beginnings. Yeah, she's looking to the past. There is something here in your emotions that you need to clear before you can move forward. Bottom of the deck, we have blessings. So there is light at the end of the tunnel for you. There could be other people supporting you. I told you there could be people being really charitable. One person in particular, but it could be a group of people supporting you. Okay. Show me in real time with trust in reverse. Who's lying and why? This could be shocking. This could be sudden. This could kind of catch you off guard. Yeah, the lover. Some of y'all is the lover. Now, the lovers can represent anybody that you love. Um, but that could be a Gemini. Um, we'll have to see. Gemini. I mean, the uh, lover represents a choice. Okay, let me turn these cards around. Wow. <laughs> With the Ace of Wands. Oh, y'all. Wow. That's the sex card. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Coming out with the lovers. Very lustful sex, sexual energy. Um, there's someone here that I feel like you're losing faith in this week. That I feel like you have a lot of feelings for. A lot of chemistry with. A lot of attraction to. This could be you finding out that they've been engaging in um, intimacy with other people. Wow. Again, a fire sign. Or a Gemini for some of you. What's this deceptive energy? It says Hollywood here. This person could be a public figure. They could be a musician. They could travel a lot. Hmm. Hmm. This could even be somebody they work with, I just heard. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Keeping options open. We got one woman there with three men. And actually, the, even the guy holding the um, the drinks for her. That's Scorpio energy. Okay. Tempting offers is what that represents. Confusion, clouded judgment, um, wishful thinking, fantasy land, idealism, illusions. Can also be procrastination, but I feel like what's happening here is that some of you are not seeing something clearly. This can also represent confusion with deceptive and music being here. Somebody's pulling the wall over your eyes, but I feel like um, something gets illuminated for you this week. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. Hmm. I'm here in Lauren Hill. Um, it could all be so simple, but you'd rather make it hard. Loving you is a battle when we both end up with scars. Because the Nine of Wands is definitely a card of wounded warrior energy scars. Um, relationship PTSD is what I call this card. Sagittarius and Scorpio. Somebody could be on the cusp. Somebody could be 69, born in the year 1969 or 96 or June the 9th or September the 7th could be significant. Something about nine days or seven uh, months could be significant here. So it looks like somebody has been stressing you out here. And some of you could be on the defense when you find out that this person has been keeping these options open. They may come in trying to sweet talk you with this music and deceptive energy. Okay, show me emotional eating with new beginnings. So we have the star in reverse. Now we got the star here at the bottom of the deck with blessings. That's miracles, blessings, light at the end of the tunnel, a wish being granted. Okay, spirituality. 
So the star in reverse is here. So some of you, the reason why you're eating emotion, having emotional eating is because you could be um, very pessimistic, okay? The star in reverse also talks about being ungrateful, you know? But it's a card of pessimism. Let's see. Something needing healing here. Aquarius energy. We got the strength card and the knight of wands. He wanted to come out before. Sagittarius and Leo energy is here. I definitely feel like a lot of you are holding back from someone this week. There could be a player here coming back into your energy. I see you moving in a new direction. I see you with a lot of self-control, discipline, focus, um, very determination, determination, very determined, a lot of strong will here to hold back. Some of you are not talking to someone. You've lost faith in them. But there's some emotional healing that you need to do before you move forward. Yeah, this is over. Could be with the Scorpio. Five of Wands. Yeah, this is a marriage or relationship that's become too stressful. Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio. Let's get some love messages. 11-11 was just on the timer. Some of y'all could be dealing with a false twin. Let's see if an 11-11 card comes out. <laughs> we have King, Divine Masculine. 77 could be the year someone was born. Or you could be seeing a lot of sevens. Look up the angel number 77 and see what you get. Hmm. So some of y'all are dealing with a fixed sign. A Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus, or possibly an Aries in your energy. What's going on with this divine masculine? So some of y'all, this is your twin, but you could just be in a karmic cycle. Yeah, look at this. Karmic relationship. Release in the past. It's been so many times today that I've said things and then the cards confirm what I'm saying. So we do have 11 here. So you could be saying 11, 11 a lot, or you could just be seeing a lot of ones. Which talks about a new beginning here. What do you have? New beginnings. This could be a relationship, um, a divine counterpart in a karmic cycle. And, you know, it is possible you two could heal. We do have the star here in, you know, the upright. But right now it looks like it's in the reverse. Also with the strength card, I would say some of you work on... Um, Eating with the Knight of Wands as well. Both of these are people who are really in shape with this coming out with emotional eating. Increase your physical activity this week. Increase your uh, physical activity for sure. Get more workouts in. Bottom of this deck, we have Divine Creativity, Receiving Cosmic Intelligence. Okay, let's get a piece of advice for you. But there could be other people supporting you this week here. Maybe even people telling you not to give this person a chance. Okay, I'm not going to take this. I'll take this one. So we have let your past go. The burden of carrying. I'm sorry. The What is this? I cannot see, y'all. Okay, the burden of carting. Your past around. Yeah, I guess carting. Your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set the burdens down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it's now gone. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. There's some healing that needs to take place. It's causing some of you to emotionally eat. Get your exercise in. You got the Ace of Wands here as well, which can represent physical activity exercise. So, yeah, that's what you need to focus on this week. All right, y'all. But there could be somebody coming in to burst your bubble with some information or something this week. I mean, it's not the best message, but it's, it's what's coming through and it's just what's going to happen for some of y'all. Okay. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.